supplies. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we're actually doing something pretty cool because we're going to PetSmart and we're gonna buy all the goldfish they have. As you guys know, I bought that 100 acres and it actually has two ponds on it and we need to fill up the ponds with fish. Now you're probably asking yourself, Braden, why would you want goldfish in your pond? Peter? Why? Why? Because they're cheap and they're cool to look at. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try to buy all the cheap goldfish PetSmart has, basically to feed the fish in the pond. There's no fish currently in the pond, but at the end of this video, there's gonna be. So we need something for them to eat. We put 500 fathead minnows in there from Amazon last week, and this week we're putting goldfish. Come on, Garrett, we gotta go to PetSmart. We got fish to buy. What? PetSmart, we're what's buying happened? fish, baby. What's, what's happening? All right, boys, we have made it to PetSmart. So uh, probably not gonna be able to afford every single fish in here, but uh, we're definitely gonna buy out a couple tanks. They should have like goldfish that are like three cents a pop. Sometimes so they're cheaper. So for the 500 minnows I ordered, right? I paid like 250, I think, for them. Yeah, but that's an actual brand of minnow. These are just feeders. Man. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see how this is. We need to find the feeder fish. Should we get a little fish tank while we're here? Raise another bass. Bro, I, honestly, bro, would you guys want to see us picking up another fish tank and raising a pet bass? I think it'd be pretty cool. Look at all the freaking fish. There's not These many, and they're pretty small. They're 20 cent a pop. That ain't right. 50% off all fish. 50% off all fish, ma'am. Are the 20 cent ones 50% off? Uh, oh, yeah. We want to buy all of those fish. You can't buy them all? No. Really? How yeah. many think you're allowed? No, you can't buy any because they, they like have ick right now. So we're treating them. So if you put that in another fish tank, it's going to affect your other fish. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you. Bro, they were 50% off and they're like, no, they got cancer. You can't buy them. It's called ick. Ick. Not ick. cancer. Same thing. So I guess we're going to find uh, directions to... Petco. Hopefully we got one of those. Maybe it'll be cheaper. Peter, wouldn't it be cool to have another bassy? 20,000 likes, we'll buy a fish tank and catch a wild little bass about that long and grow them. That'd be cool. Keep them in the living room? There you go. There 100%. You go. We've made it to another PetSmart. Hopefully these fish don't have the ick. The other Petco we just came from, PetSmart. PetSmart. We just came from, they had 50% off on all the fish. Price match? No, we can't. Mm. What, if, what if we told you we're going to buy the whole tank? No, so we don't have like a bowl. Is there a fish manager that we can pick to? I am the fish manager. That's You're the fish good. manager. <laughs> how, many, how many of the 20 cent fish can we buy? As many as you want. Oh yeah, we'll take them all. Well, how many do you want a bag? That's on you. <laughs> how many can we throw you, in one bag? Do you have a fish tank? These yes. are... Yes. Is it like a 2,000 gallon fish tank? Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What are the ones over here on the right? Those are 20 cent too. Minnows? Minnows. Huh. Interesting. That's why they're orange. Which one should we get? All of them. Those look I think, I think the goldfish. Those, they're going to grow. They're all different colors. I like yeah. those. Yeah, those are, those are actually pretty dope. Those are sick. We're going to be able to see them swimming around in the pond from afar. That's going to be so dope. So let's say there's 500 fish in that tank. we got to figure out how much that's going to cost. Because I just said get all of them. 500 times 0. 0.5. 100 bucks. That's it? <laughs> what? 500 fish for 100 bucks. <laughs> nice. No way. I don't know who's counting those. All right. Let's see, the goldfish, they're way cheaper than the fathead minnows. But the fathead minnows, they actually reproduce. Peter, those won't reproduce, will they? So they probably won't make it that yeah. long. Bad. So they told us we couldn't film in here. And if that holds true. I'm just going to make them get us both tanks, make them count all the fish. I mean, does that sound like a dick thing to do? No. We're just going to buy them all. Buy both tanks. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. So they kicked us out for a recording. They were counting the fish. They had count out like 250, 300 fish. And then kicked us out because we were recording. We've been in there for 20 minutes waiting for them to get done counting these fish. And they kicked us out. So they're going to put all those fish back right back in where they go. And we're going to go make them count them again. <laughs> Dude, dude, please. Hey. What happened? We got kicked out of PetSmart. How? For filming. That's bullcrap. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to need you to come make the, these motherfuckers count all these fish again. They're halfway <laughs> done counting them. And so I guess they're going to put them back in the tank. So where are you at? Which, where are we at? We had to drive like 40 minutes because the other <laughs> PetSmart. Cross from Chick-fil-A. It. Brayden. It's not my, they kicked us out. Come on, be a team player. Team player. Team player. Yeah, we done been to one pet smart, then drove to a Petco, which is actually a Lowe's, and now we're at this pet smart. That's such bullcrap. I'm gonna be a butthole to them. Buy them all. I'm talking about Buy make them. them count them all. All the goldfish. All the goldfish. I hate how to be petty, but we're being petty. How many do they have? 
A uh, lot. Over 500. Call me whenever you get here. Is that awesome? Like, we done told them, like, look, we won't film. Like, no worries. Like, you know, we kind of already had filmed, like, okay, here's the goldfish. And then after the fact, they're like, oh, yeah, no. Kind of, so we kind of like, oh, yeah, we'll quit filming. And then halfway through of counting them. Oh, no more goldfish. Can't sell them to you. She said, I just don't feel comfortable selling these fish to y'all because we were filming. That's ridiculous. Is that not come out of her mouth? That, that's ridiculous, yeah. No, we're going to get the fish and we can go feed them to other fish. We're going to run into this Chinese buffet. We're going to get some food. I'm going to have Bree meet me here. Give her my wallet and uh, let her go buy these fish. So uh, we're gonna have fun counting them. Hey, sweetheart. So you don't know anything about this. You need to go and buy all the goldfish. So the 20 cent goldfish, they got 20 cent minnows and 20 cent goldfish. Just get all the 20 cent orange goldfish. There's like 500 or more. But they're like 20 cents, so 500 is 100 bucks. And do not tell them you're with yeah, us. Yeah, don't tell them you're with Don't us. tell them anything. It's they're gonna like, question it's you. It's been like 30 minutes, but they're still obviously gonna know. Probably. If they don't sell to you, they're gonna have a bad day. Because <laughs> we're gonna have a fan meetup in the parking lot. <laughs> 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 we're gonna buy all the gold bits. All of them. <laughs> the girl that packed all the fish went on break and is right there well, about to watch us load the them up. The girlfriend just bought all the She's fish. She's on the phone with the manager. <laughs> Just bought all the fish. That's so many. How many did they say? It was? How much was it? 538. Uh, 538. I guess 500. 111. 111 dollars. That's awesome. Fish. Look at all these fish. Good job, Bree. Thanks. 500 goldfish. We had to work for these. Yeah, very. But much. we made them work a lot harder. I love how she called the manager. Dude, she was so Bro, mad. She, whenever she seen us pull up to Bree, she immediately jumped on her phone. That took a lot longer than it was supposed to. We still got to go fishing tonight, so we got to get these over to the property, show you guys the property, show you guys the pond, get these things acclimated to the water, get them in the water, and then we got to go catch a bunch of bluegills. So uh, stay tuned. All right, boys, we have made it out to the property. We actually transferred these fish into my cooler. We got a little live well set up running because Bree, when she went back in there, it had been like 30 five minutes apparently they left them in the bags and that lady done told me that yeah don't have them in the bag longer than 30 minutes they'll die and then 35 minutes later they're still in the bag sitting in the store we had probably 10 or 15 die but yeah that's looking pretty good check these fish out look at all of them dude there's oh a dead gosh. one there's a couple dead i think there's like 550 we gotta get the dead ones out because it's gonna create uh, ammonia in the water look at that Beautiful. They're so pretty. Look at that. That is a bass nugget. Hey, I'm gonna throw one in there and see. He's probably gonna die because the water's not gonna be acclimated. Let's see if we can watch him swim off. That water's freezing. We're gonna have to acclimate him. That water is really cold. Like the fathead minnows, we've seen them on the banks when they're in the schools, but the orange is gonna stick out. And they're probably gonna get ate pretty quick, but it's gonna be cool. All right, we got our first acclimation water in here. All right, buddies. Drink up. So as you guys know, here is the pond. This big, beautiful thing. We got green coming back on the trees. It's beautiful. There's the neighbor's pond. We got my pond. And then I also got a swamp right there on the other side. It's a pretty big swamp. This is the 100 acres I bought. It's been a huge, huge project. But Let's Dig 18 is actually coming out. Fr he's coming out this Friday. Yeah, he's coming out Friday. We're going to see about building a 10-acre lake back there behind the home site, the future home site. Let's Dig 18 is actually a, uh, he builds a lot of ponds. If you guys haven't watched them before, I have them linked down in the description. But he, all he does is operate. His whole channel is just operating equipment and building beautiful ponds. We gotta see about some stuff to fix this pond. We gotta see about building another pond down there and maybe fixing up the swamp. Now the next pond, now we're gonna do that pond up right. We're gonna have a fish delivery truck come in, order the exact amount of bass per acres of water we got. The exact amount of bluegill, minnows, the whole shebang. But for now, we're just gonna mess around and have fun with this pond. Now will these fish acclimate to the pond water before we put them in? We're gonna run over here, fish this pond for like 20 minutes or so. Uh, this is the neighbor's pond, just catching and release back into that pond and we're not using any fish out of that pond to stock this one. That way we'll hang out, get these things time to acclimate and then we'll throw them in the pond and then we gotta go fishing. We're gonna go to my buddy's pond, he's my taxidermist and he's got a big pond full of giant bluegill, giant bass and it's gonna be a good time. We're gonna be fishing out of a boat but we're gonna go ahead and slap on the GoPro and go do a little pond hopping. Before we go over to that pond, I wanna walk around the edge of this pond and just kinda make sure all is good in the hood. But like I said, we're gonna go catch a bunch of bluegill and then bring them back to this pond and stock it. Just see, what are, what are the odds I actually catch a fish in this pond? There's still so much brush they can hide in. Watch Garrett catch the first fish out of this pond. Of all people, it would be Garrett. Man, this is beautiful. Coming out on this like uh, this bridge between the two ponds. There's actually a lot of fish on this bank normally. We know there's a five plus pounder in this pond somewhere. We hooked into him one day and he broke off, but uh, it's gonna be so cool the day we do catch him. But like we can fish my side of the bank now. So glad we cleared this thing out. If you guys wanna check that video, I have it linked in the description. Fishing in the rain, baby. Ooh! 
You got him? That's gotta be a big fish. That is, that's the big fish. That's the big fish. No way, that is a stud. He freaking stomped it. Get him, bring him up. <laughs> oh, what a stud. Freaking top water, dude. Dude, he smacked it on top, did he not? <laughs> Hell yeah. That's definitely by far the biggest fish we've seen come out of here. There could be a bigger one in here. Did you see him stomp it? That's a 20 inch long fish. Give, give me your arm. Just get an idea how big that fish is. So he's up my forearm. Yeah, right he's now. all the way up your arm. That's a 20, 21 inch fish, dude. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, go on. You got it. <laughs> Baby, that's what I'm talking about. Are you on? That's a good fish. That ain't a stuff. That's the average fish coming out of here. Yeah, that's the average right there. Though. Like that's a pound fish. Yeah, hold him on your arm like the other one. <laughs> For size reference. <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> Little about baby. 12 inches. Hey, All right, boys, fishing was fun. We caught that four, four pounder. That was sick. First big fish we've caught over this way. Let's get to putting some minnows in the pond. All right, we're gonna get these things down to the water. Where y'all wanna put them in at? Oh, uh, there's an, actually, there's a good spot down here on the bank. We're gonna drain some of this water out. Ooh, they jumping. Look at them dudes. First goldfish going in. All right, buddies. Just oh no, shit, no, Peter, no, stop. No, no, no. So we got 550. There's another goldfish right there. <laughs> Look at him. That not so cool? That's See ya. Garrett's pond was stocked with goldfish 10 years ago, probably. And now there's a couple goldfish left in there that are like that big. So we should have a few like that. Look at all of them. Look at them pouring out. The water's gonna get so muddy we're not gonna be able to see them. That is looking good. Look at them swimming around. Look at all of them, dude. Look, Look at them way out here. Yeah, I'm sure it's hard to see on camera, but they're swimming around. 100 bucks? Buddy's not having a good oh, time. Oh, Buddy in there. really is stuck I in the drain. I was trying to save him earlier. <laughs> Blow him out. Never blowed a fish before, but. <laughs> <laughs> First time for everything. Well, these things will work the same way minnows will. I don't know long term how they're gonna be on the pond, but there's so much duck wheat in here and they eat that kind of stuff. If they do get big, we'll be completely okay. I'm a little worried I might drain this pond this summer. <laughs> Might be getting a lot of fish out of here but uh it's kind of still all up in the air what we're gonna do but we are gonna put some fish in here so we want to go ahead and make sure they can eat if we do decide to drain this pond we'll get all the fish out and we'll put them in that swamp and they'll be completely fine over there but uh let's go ahead let's pack it up we're gonna run to my taxidermist place and we got some fish to catch because we're gonna be bringing a crap load of bluegill back here it's gonna be a good day let's roll baby all right boys we have made it out here to the pond we got the pond back behind us it's a big beautiful two acre pond aaron got the boat out and everything for us come show us the rig that thing is sweet ain't it yeah that thing is dope but aaron you're actually my deer taxidermist right that's right you freaking kill it that's you right. did uh the ghost the big 10 point i shot that's right. aaron did an absolutely amazing job on it and uh, he actually invited us to come out here fishing to help keep some fish to stock the ponds so we got the cooler we got the bubblers the boat has a live well so we'll be able to keep fresh water on them all the way up until the point we throw them in the cooler and head to the new pond so uh today should be good you said there's tons of big bass big bluegill big crappie the pond's loaded so uh we're gonna go ahead hop on the boat and get to fishing All right, boys, Aaron is pushing us off. We're gonna slay some fish today, baby. I love fishing with a purpose, like trying to catch fish to put in my pond, because uh, most of the ponds, like around my house, we got two pounders in, max, so it's just not very fun. Everything's the same, but uh, we're gonna slap the GoPros on and get to fishing. Peter's hooked up, baby. First fish. What oh, is a it? freaking slab crappy, dude. Is it a crappy? Oh, look at that. Dang, son. Check that thing out. First fish, big old crappy. Crappy are really hard on ponds, so it's really good to take some crappies out of ponds anyhow. Peter on again? This is a giant. Come here, buddy. Dude, dude, that gum. These are slabs. Oh my gosh. You having a fish fry tonight or what? I forgot what this is called, dude. This is a unique crappie right here. He's got the black stripe down his whole top of his head and his mouth. Oh, dude, that is badass. Look at that. Runs all the way up and then goes at his bottom jaw. That's a good one, dude. Peter's been catching all of them out in the middle. That joker is fighting. That's my, that might be, might be a bad. Dude, it's oh a my giant gosh. Crap. I'm that is a stud. <laughs> Holy cow. What a fish. Holy crap. This is some of the prettiest crap you've ever seen. Dude, look at that. 
These are gonna be eating good. Look at the lines, man. I've never caught crappie like that before. Seen pictures, never in person. That's awesome. That's pretty. There we go. I'm on. That gonna be the first bluegill for the pond today. What is that, dude? It's a. That's a roach fish. What is that? It's a. I have never seen dude, one of those. That is a roach fish. That. that joker would be a good catfish bait. Yeah. I'll tell you oh, that right now. That. That's a golden one. Sometimes they're silver with thing. red fins. Oh. I've never seen something like that come out of a pond. That is crazy. That make great catfish bait. Oh, you on? Oh, that was pretty one. That was pretty fish. That's a normal size crappie you normally catch. So these are freaking studs. Yeah, there we go. We well, on with another crappie it looks like. Come on, buddy. Here, I'm coming to your side. Come on, buddy. Yeah, that's a that's a little crappie right there. Little dude. We're gonna throw him in the live well. Here we go. That's a good one. As soon as he tossed it back out, we we're on again. No, he's fighting. Probably crappy. Going up under the boat. What you are, dude? Oh, it's a bluegill. It's our first gill. Look at that beautiful guy. That'll work right there. Oh, pumpkin seed. Oh, pumpkin seed, baby. Yeah, if we can get about 40 of these, we'll be set. <laughs> there we go. Oh, he pulled it off. Put that worm back on good. About to roll back through this school of crappy and see if these trolling rods can pick one up. Peter's on. A little smaller. Get them up. Dude, they all have this line. I've like never seen this before. That is the coolest thing ever. Nice. Six incher. Peter's on it. Peter's on crappy duty. I'm on bluegill duty. This is a good crappy. Get them up. Dude, holy <laughs> golly dang. That is a stud. This one don't have the stripe, dude. Another giant. Dang, son. Dude, these are slabs. My goodness. These are slabs. Oh. That's a good solid. one. That's a good one. Get up. This one's got the line. This is amazing. Another good crappie. You say crappie or what's? Crappie, I say crappie. Okay. I say crappie. Crappie, mm -hmm. it's not crappie. These right, are crappie. Well, I say crappie every now and then just to piss Peter off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on, oh man. Yeah, they're right there. I gotta be able to get a hook in them though. Keep taking it, but not getting hooked. There we go, we on. Yeah, that's gotta be a gill. See what he is. Yep. All right, buddy, come home with me. Dude, stud. That is a stud. Beautiful. Get that joker in a live well. Oh. There we go. He swallowed it. He's a pissed off bluegill right there, son. Number three. That's what I'm talking about. There's our third bluegill to go in the BP pond. Get him off. Get him in the live well. Rob, you ever seen a fish like this? Oh, oh that's a shiner. A shiner? You know yes, sir. That's a big shiner. It's a golden shiner. My goodness. That was a crappy minnow at one time. Really? That's what it is. That's what happens when you put crappy minnows in here. Yep. yep. No shit. That's what that is. That is insane. That joker is huge. It looks like that'd be good cut bait for catfish. It is. It is. Oh, I got one, Brady. Yeah, you got one? There it is. That's what you're looking for. Oh, that's a big one. Hell yeah. That is probably the biggest bluegill yet. That's a stud. There we go. Hey, on the point. Come here, boy. Woo. Feisty. Oh, that's a stud. All right. Up. Oh, oh, my gosh. That is a giant, baby. Hell yeah. Peter's hooked up. Oh, yeah. Stud. What you got, boy? Nice little old yellow belly. Pretty man. Nice and gold. Look at that. Yes, sir. Get him in the live oil. There you go. That little jig's killing it. No guys, I think I got one. No way. Christian's got a fish? I think I Dude, got it's one a stud boy. too. Is oh, it? Dude, she's a ripper. Dude, oh my gosh, get it over, get it in the boat. Dude, no way. Nice. Yeah, that's a shell cracker. There we go. Come here, boy. Let's go, baby. We're starting to stack them up. Come on up. Oh my goodness, look at the colors. Oh, there we go. Oh, a bass, son. That's what I'm talking about. Look at the colors on this guy. Oh my gosh, he's beautiful. Check that out. Peter's got his bass. Yes, sir. I was rolling it back in, he freaking smacked it. Let's hold him up, Braden. That's what I'm talking about. Pretty fish. Yes, sir. There we go. Come here, boy. Oh yeah, that's a feisty one. He's about to get a big jump right into the freaking boat. Oh gosh. You got one? There you go. Dude, he's fighting. They're right here is where they're at. We found them. That's what I'm talking about. That is a stud. Oh my gosh. All right, boys, we're about to switch over and try some bass fishing. I think we got 10 or 12 bluegill. We'll have to count them after the fact once we start loading them into the cooler, but we cannot go and just bluegill fish a big bass pond. So uh, we're going to get to that. See if we can't pull up a big old bass, baby. If I catch a four, y'all are going to see me lose my shit. It's been a while since I caught a good bass. I tell you what, catching a big bass with an ultralight is the funnest. I caught a seven pounder on an ultralight like that when I was using for bluegill. Oh my gosh. I fought him for 10 minutes. Damn, Peter. Yank him out of the water, Peter. Look, oh, look, I got bit by something. Look at that. Oh, yeah. A big old snapping turtle. See you, buddy.
All right, boys, we are switching back over to the grubs. We're going to try to catch a few more fish before the sun goes down, see what we can pick up. There you go. Hit it on the fall because I set it down. Oh, you got one doubled up? Oh, I tossed it. What do you got? Come on, Christian. They will reel in. Hold on. Woo! We're going to have to work on those boat flips. You can get the hook out. You got that? Yeah, I got it. You got the hook? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to get probably stabbed in the meantime, but. <laughs> That's a good one there. Yeah. That is a good one. Oh, there you go. Peter's hooked up. That's a fighter, ain't it? Dad, go. Wow. Right. Look at that crack. That is a stud. Slabs, boy. My goodness. Freaking slabs. Dad, oh, I'm on. He's just kind of swimming with it. Oh, I love it on this ultralight. Look at him dig. Come on up here. Oh, my oh, goodness. It. Look at the size of that guy. Oh my oh, gosh. No way. Bluegill, dude. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. More blues. Kind of making me want to have a fish fry tonight at this rate. All right, boys, we are headed back to the bank. We've caught a mess of fish. We're going to get this boat loaded up before the sun goes down, and I'm going to get all these fish out and show you guys. We still got to fill up the cooler live well to haul them all the way back to my pond. We're not going to be keeping the crappy. Aaron, you got to invite us over to the fish fry one night, dude. <laughs> We caught a mess of crappy. These things are huge, but uh, I'll pick up the camera and we're getting the fish out. My goodness. We got a lot, a lot of fish down there. A lot of crappy, a lot of bluegill. You gonna be the man to start handing them out. We got a lot, don't we? You wanna throw the crappy in my cooler in the- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, I'll grab your cooler. All right. Those are some slabs. You gonna have a freaking full cooler full. Look at that crappy, look how black he is. Look at how big these crappy are. My goodness. Well, if we ever need any crappy for the swamp, we know where to find it. What you crappy? said you've been catching crappy like this for the last three and a half weeks every night, haven't you? Every day. Every day. And they're they're literally just loaded in this pond. Crappy is an awesome fish, but they will tear up a pond and you gotta manage them and get them out. All right, first fish in the live well. Hopefully they'll be all right for the rod. Some big ones, dude. How many we got so far? You been keeping out? Uh, I think 13. 13, 14, 15. Bunch of crappy, bunch of bluegill. Let's go ahead and just cut it back over to my pond. All right, boys, let's see how our fish are doing. They were not doing too hot. We should have been running that, the aerator in the live well, but we weren't. Oh yeah, they're all right. They're alive. They're hanging in there. All right, Peter, you wanna get the other shot of this cooler? We did have two die on us and we had to throw two out. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, they're chilling, dude. Yeah, they're chilling. Oh shit, there's water right there. Yep, you're in it. Yeah, you're oh. still in it, and you're in the <laughs> See what we got in here. There's one. Look at that big old beauty. See if he swims off nice and good. Oh yeah, first bluegill in the pond. Get some more. There's one. Another beauty. Look at that dude. Oh, there's a monster. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh. He ready to go. All right, buddy. They all just chilling. All three are right here. Not doing the best, but they should live. Look, Look at that pumpkin. guy. True pumpkin seed. He ready to go too. All right, I'm gonna start hopping them in there. There's four, five, six. Was that seven, eight? Yeah. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we had 16 total, two died. That's pretty damn good, dude. Look at these bluegill. Beautiful, man. We've got three different species so far. All natural bluegill. We have pumpkin seed, and then we have a couple shell cracker. So hopefully they're going to do their thing, and we're going to get some big bluegill. Let's check them out. See if they're still there. There's yeah. one sitting right there. All right, guys, we've stocked the pond with some bluegill. Now we're going to do some more, and it might be off camera. I'm not sure. We need to get more minnows in here. We need to get more bluegill, and we got to get bass in here. We need a bunch of big bass. But if you guys enjoyed this video, I know fishing content's a little different. It's a little on the boring side. Sorry, Peter. If you guys would like, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.